You guys know that I like to travel at a relaxed pace and in short hops. Well, that is not what I'm doing today. This morning, I started off in Ashley National Forest, north of Vernal, Utah. I drove 600 miles and I'm now in Eastern Oregon trying to find a campsite for the night. I drove so far today because there's a particular region that I want to explore and I want to experience for the first time. So I want to uh, focus all of my energy into that area and then once I'm there, just travel in short hops at a relaxed pace again. This campsite's okay. It's uh, Burnt River near Durkee, Oregon. It's BLM land. It's just a nice little spot. It's really close to the dirt road. Uh, so it's good for one night. I'm just gonna keep moving in the morning anyway. Night. Six hundred miles today. That was a big push up into the Pacific Northwest. It's Sunday morning and I love camping next to a mountain stream. The noise just soothes me to sleep. Today I'm going to keep pushing north into northern Washington. So another long drive ahead of me. I'm approaching Leavenworth, Washington, which is where I think I'm going to hunker down for the remainder of the week. It's surrounded by a beautiful national forest, there's countless roads to explore, and I'm sure I'll find many places to camp. This is good. This is exactly where I want to be. Pacific Northwest. I researched to find a campsite near Leavenworth, and I have to admit, this isn't where I expected to be tonight. Leavenworth is surrounded by coniferous mountains, and this is just pasture as far as I can see. It's 2.30 a.m. The wind is out of hand. All right, and now there's a little bit of rain. I'm not doing this. just close the camper. 
the rain is sideways. I got soaked. This sucks. I did in fact check the weather forecast before bed and it didn't show anything. It showed perfectly clear, it showed calm winds, so this is probably just a, a squall or something. I'm on top of a mountain, so I'm getting hit by the worst of it. But I'm, I'm just out of here. I'm not doing this. Where are my glasses? An hour later, 3.30 a.m., the storm is gone. Just a slight breeze now. I guess that's a Pacific Northwest, right? This is a really nice free campground in the Wenatchee National Forest. Is that how you pronounce it? It's next to some amazing water. The mosquitoes here are next level though. I'm gonna be spending a lot of the time in the screen room.
It's Tuesday morning, June 26th. I'm up in the camper getting some blogging done. It's nice and warm and comfy up here and the mosquitoes can't get me. I finally got it done. I can feel my lips. It's day two at the same campsite near Leavenworth, Washington. Um, this past weekend I drove a thousand miles, so this feels really good to settle into a spot for a couple days. It's almost therapeutic. But um, recharge allows me to take a breath and uh, I'm gonna lower my pace a little bit after this I think. Shorter hops by far. I just drove all around the country with, with that truck and then I got to Denver, I drove up to Washington, so I just need to cool off a little bit. early Tuesday evening. I'm gonna start tearing down camp now because bright and early tomorrow morning I'm gonna go check out Leavenworth, Washington, which is a Bavarian themed village. It looks kind of cool when I drove through so I want to stop there and do some interneting. This is by far the bulkiest piece of equipment that I carry. But in places such as these, where the mosquitoes are very bothersome, it is a necessary piece of equipment. And I am grateful to have it. This toe strap is very, very old. I don't use it for serious vehicle recovery anymore, but as far as removing fallen trees from the road, that's A-OK. -okay. Common in Leavenworth. I don't know the inflections and the stuff like that, but Leavenworth, Washington, a very distinct Bavarian theme. Thank you. 
Love your channel. Keep up the good work. Keep exploring. Sean and Carla. Thank you, guys. Notes like these mean the world to me. In the winter, we eat inside the Jeep because it's cold out. In the summer, in the Pacific Northwest, we eat inside of the Jeep because of mosquitoes. <laughs> you just can't win. R.W. Garcia tortilla chips. These are the most delicious tortilla chips I've ever had. I've got no relationship with these guys. It just makes me feel more professional when I promote a product. It's Thursday morning and I'm inside the Jeep making some coffee. Uh, the mosquitoes aren't even really that bad right now. I just have bites all over me, so I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna stay inside here. I happen to be in the same vicinity as a Northwest Overland Rally, which is going on starting today. After I do my morning routine, I'm gonna head on over there, connect with people, take in some of the sights and sounds, and just uh, see what we can see. All right, we've got coffee. Whoa! This campsite was extremely pleasant. Really nice place to stay. It's next to a paved forest road that no one uses because there wasn't any traffic all night. It's unspoiled, it's clean, it's flat. It's next to a quiet stream. <laughs> Mosquitoes. I might not have the chance to connect with my good friend Jennifer Langel this week as our travels are taking us to different places, but if you aren't following her story, I encourage you to do so. While I might introduce you to a remote campsite or a picturesque waterfall, Jen will introduce you to amazing people, some whom have lost, others who endure, and many more who triumph over life-threatening illness. She does truly amazing work as she travels off the beaten path to seek out the stories of individuals and families who face adversity. So please give her a follow on Instagram. She's jennifer.langill, L-A-N-G-I-L-L-E, and her mission is Photos That Unite. I just rolled into Northwest Overland Rally in Plain, Washington, and it's ramp up day at the event. So Thursday is when all the vendors roll in and in the afternoon the event participants and attendees start arriving. I got a cool sticker.
Do we have a ukulele teacher in the audience? The Dragonfly Tarps team, uh, fantastic. They brought a van load of ukuleles uh, for kids for the evenings, but the ukulele teacher herself actually got quite ill. So we have a van full of ukuleles and no ukulele teacher. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? I'm doing it. You are doing it. Yes, Stand up. <laughs> Round of applause for this young man who's going to run the ukulele classes. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Hello, everybody. Does it feel good to be here, finally in your lawn, your chair? Oh, I don't know. Who has come in off the trail? If, did you get a trail run in on the way in? How many have just driven straight here and have plopped your butts where you are right now? Okay, right on. Who is doing a trail after this? Oh, that's pretty good. That's awesome. That's fun. It's a really great way to get out is to use events like this to get on the road, get, get a trail done, get some training, and then get back out there and do some more. So I am Clay, Clay Croft with uh, Expedition Overland. So we shoot a web series called Expedition Overland. We're on YouTube. And uh, we just started out as just regular old dudes that wanted to travel the world and see the world by expedition vehicle. So we, we just started with what we had in our garage and uh, built it the way we could, the best we could, and started doing trips. And that led to being able to do Expedition Overland full time. It's Thursday night at Northwest Overland Rally in Plain, Washington. And that's a wrap for this week. Um, what's going to happen next is tomorrow, Friday, I'm going to head into town, into Leavenworth, and publish this video. And then um, Saturday, I'm thinking about coming back. I'm going to play it by ear, but this event should be in full swing by then. MVP this week goes to the Rosiska family, my good friends, Family Adventures Overlanding. I owe them a debt of gratitude. In the meantime, thank you guys for following along. Thank you for your support, and I'll catch up with you again next week.